Hello, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Jesse the Plants. I hope you enjoy our ministry. All we want you to do is like, subscribe, and hit the bell. Let me say it again. Like, sub subscribe, and hit the bell, and you will be blessed. Hello and welcome to Glorious Living. I'm so glad you're joining me today. We're going to have an awesome show. You know, every time we come together, I love the opportunity that we have to to give glory to our God because, you know, He really wants us to live a glorious life. He has such a great plan for us. And when we spend time talking to Him and sharing with Him, and that's what we do in this broadcast, is gives God an opportunity to just pour out His blessing, pour out His wisdom, insight into ways that we can live a beautiful, glorious life. You know, and I want you to remember to come up because it's coming up really soon. Make a calendar entry. If you haven't already made your plans, make your plans today to come to Glorious, our conference in 2022. And the dates are March the 25th and the 26th. That's a Friday at 7 p.m. and a Saturday at 9 a.m. And it's right here at JDM International Headquarters in Destrehan, Louisiana. And that's a suburb of New Orleans. If you haven't been here, make your plans to be here to, that right now. Take your time and go online and register. It's a free conference, no charge to attend. We always have great times of fellowship, worship. The Word is rich, and God always shows up, and we always give Him the glory. And I'm so excited about that. I hope you'll do that and meet me here, here in March, March the 25th and the 26th. It's going to be so good. You know, people from all over the world are writing in and we have great stories of, that we want to share every time we come together and have Chrissy here on the program with yes, me. Yes, ma'am. I just want to say, Glorious, you do not want to miss it. I'm counting down the days, Miss Kathy. Mm -hmm. It's going to be so great. So mark your calendars. And yes, we have so many people from all over the world writing in mm -hmm. and talking about Glorious Living and how this program is really touching them so that they can believe yes. for God to do the impossible in their life because it is so true. It can happen. And I actually have a testimony I'd like to read yeah. from a viewer in Australia. And it's from Instagram. And she says, I love hearing the amazing miracle stories of our heavenly dad. <laughs> I'm so glad I've partnered with JDM. Your ministry was the only one that received a reply from and in 24 hours wow. too, to my what prayer request last January. Mm. And I knew this ministry cares for their partners. I can't wait to email my miracle too when it comes to pass. Love from Perth, Australia. Well, we're so excited yes. that you decided to write in and we're praying with you and we believe that your miracle will come to pass in Jesus name. Amen. You know, Chrissy, happen. I have people, I have one friend that texts me that says she's been binging on Glorious Living. I love that. <laughs> Binge watch Glorious Living. It's great. Yeah. And it, what it does is it stirs you up to believe that God has a plan for your life. Amen. No matter what's happened to you in the past, He has a plan for your life that'll bring you to a new level of strength and peace and glory. Yes, ma'am. It's all about the peace of God that we know is going through the airwaves right yes. now. Whatever device you are watching from, I believe that God's glory will penetrate that space and that atmosphere and that you will walk in peace today because we have a great program. And I wanted to mention this, Miss Kathy. We talked about the Word series, the yeah. healing word and the prosperous word. And this is the peaceful word. And it's so amazing. It beautiful is beautiful book. Mm, thank you so much. I love this one. It's probably my favorite. And I remember one year there was a lady that was coming to Glorious and she had received this Peaceful Word book. She loved it so much yes. that she ordered, I think, a thousand of them wow. for us to give away free to everybody that attended the conference because it was so life-changing. Yes. So you can yeah. order it, but it's also available on our platforms. Isn't yes, right? on our JDM app. You can go ahead and go to our JDM app. It's completely free and you can listen to it. Miss Kathy, you actually read it. Yes, I, and I, I have some beautiful music they put behind mm -hmm. it. It's really very peaceful. Yes. In fact, all of the Word series are that way. It's very, they're very calming mm -hmm. and they touch people. And you know, it's just I just love the power that comes when we just read the Word of God. That's right. We release things into the heavenlies. We release the power of God in our life when we start hearing what the Word says. Yes. And, it, and it creates an atmosphere. I've heard from people that they just put them on in their home yes. and they just run them in a continuous loop and it's transforming their atmosphere of their house. It's awesome. It's I glorious. love it. It's <laughs> glorious. So you can own your own copy and you can go to JDM.org to purchase it or just go straight to our JDM app and you can also watch all of our glorious living. You can binge watch all of the <laughs> glorious livings on there as well. So make sure to do that today. 
Yeah, and also you might notice I'm drinking from our new cup. <gasps> oh, yes. We had them here last week. We, we didn't mention them. Look this at is this. brand new. We get just for our broadcast. This is called You Are Designed for Glorious Living. Yes, on one side. And then it says, I am designed for glorious living on this side as well. So we're sending a message. And we're ha receiving a message I'm every time we it. take a sip. Yes, and you can get your very own too at JDM.org. So when you watch Glorious Living, pour yourself some tea or some water and enjoy with us. I have hot tea us. in mine today. Yes, we love it. So go ahead. There's so many great things on our website you can go yeah. check out. Yeah. You know, this is going to be such an awesome program today, yes, Chrissy. We have a very special guest. You're just going to love her. Yes. Her name is Saudi Wise, and she's a staff member here at the ministry, and she works in our creative media department. In fact, when you're commenting, on our social media platforms and get a response from Team JDM, mm -hmm. she might be the person that you're communicating with. She's also a minister here at the ministry and she works with our United Youth Ministry. And we're so excited that she's joining us today to share her glorious story, how God turned trauma into victorious triumph in her life. Welcome, Saudi. Amen. Thanks for being here. Yes. <laughs> I'm so excited to be here. Yeah. I can't believe I'm here. Uh, you know, I watch the show uh, every week, and you know, I'm I'm encouraged, even mm -hmm. though I'm like on the computer interacting with yeah. people. Yeah, it's oh, part of your job, right. isn't it? You yeah. have to watch it. But yeah, do you, but do you still it. enjoy it? I, I have to watch it. No, I really enjoy <laughs> it. Like last last week with Gigi was so encouraging. Yes. You know, just so uplifting, and mm -hmm. so to be here, I'm just so oh, you're, excited. You're such about a bubbly it. person. Oh, if you you may not get this right away, but the more you get to know Saudi, you're just going to fall in love with her. I agree. She Thank is you. such a blessing to our ministry. I remember we met probably four years ago when you came on staff. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Is that right? Uh, yeah. And actually, my parents have been members of the church since the church began. And, yeah. and I was living in, in Mississippi and other places. And so anytime yeah. I got the opportunity to come, I think I came to the very first uh, visionary conference as uh -huh, well, really? you know. Yeah. And so I uh, remember seeing you in church one day. And you said, I'm coming to this church. Yes. And that was before you were even on staff. I right, when we for met sure. The first time. Yeah, definitely. So God made that divine connection, and here you are. And like Miss Kathy said, you're the one praying with a lot of people out there who are engaging, and it's just so awesome to, to have you here and to be able to celebrate what God has done in your life. Well, you know? thank you. So thank you. welcome to Studio Yay. C. <laughs> <laughs> well, tell us what that means when we introduce you, talking about going from trauma to triumph. What does that mean? Really? Wow. You know, uh, it, it, I, I could go way back I, to try to squeeze 32 years, basically, in, in 15 minutes. Amen. I'm going to do my best. But, you know, it's been such a journey. Yeah. And I, I know God's been with me every step of the way. Amen. And I just felt led, you know, that it, it's a story that we should tell because yeah. I know there are other women, you know, friends of mine that have been in very similar situations. And it's just encouraging to know that God is right there with you, mm -hmm. no matter what your trauma is, no matter what uh, you're facing, That's that so uh, He it's has really triumph true. in store yes. for you. Amen. Amen. And that yeah. really is what glorious living is all about. That's true. Yes. It's not this perfect thing where everything is perfect all the time. It's knowing that when those fiery darts are thrown at you, that yeah. you'll have your shield of faith. And that's what makes it glorious, that we have victory in Jesus. Yes. Yes. That's the yes. whole the whole part of glorious living that we need to embrace. Right. Yeah. And, and just recognizing that this strength doesn't come from ourselves, but it right. comes from God. That's right. uh, trust me, I can save you a lot of time. <laughs> and tell you, you cannot come out of depression on your own on your strength, own. Wow. It, it, you know, it, you need people, you need God, you need His Word, you know, and, and I just want to share a little bit about yeah. how God, you know, took me I through that, that journey. I believe so. so many will be encouraged. Yeah, well, you know, I've had some wonderful people that have walked with me through that that time, including y'all. You have been a big part of my, my recovery because mm -hmm. I came at the very end when I was kind of more in the healing process mm -hmm. of it all. And, and you know, that mm -hmm. the, I was up on the second floor and all those ladies just touched my heart so much and really encouraged yes. me. So... Mm -hmm. Um, so anyway, yeah, it all started uh, back in 1990. Uh, I uh, married my college sweetheart a month after graduation. Mm -hmm. um, we, at 20 some years old, we decided to, to start our own business. Mm -hmm. And um, it was a scuba and travel business and it, it took off. Uh, we were very blessed in that. Um, we had a store in uh, Biloxi or D'Iberville, Mississippi. Uh, we expanded to Gulfport, Mississippi, <clears throat> and then uh, another store in Puerto Rico. We wow. had a concession in Cozumel, Mexico. Mexico. Um, we dabbled in real estate, so we had a home in, in Biloxi, and then we had two beach homes in Destin, Florida. So very successful. Yeah, yeah. 
Yeah, I mean, we, we had a, a rental home in um, Puerto Rico to house our staff. Um, we decided to start a family during that time. We mm -hmm. had a boy and a girl, beautiful, uh, very bright kids, and uh, just a joy to be with. Um, we, since we were in the travel industry, we got to travel the world, and our mm -hmm. kids went along with us. You know, we took them everywhere. And my son actually got potty trained on a flight to uh, Athens, Greece. Wow, uh, because what a way to be potty trained. <laughs> it took a load off of me because I was really scared, you know, but <laughs> it was fun to go to the bathroom. And so, you know, hey, you know, that's what he did. And, and nothing uh, else to interrupt. You had nowhere else to go. Right, yeah. right. You Locked know, we in. got bored, you know, so he went to the bathroom. So I, I was know. like, okay, you know, and he was great. Never had an accident after that. Uh, <laughs> my uh, daughter, um, for her, I think it was third or fourth birthday, we asked her, so what do you want for your birthday? And she's like, I want to go horseback riding. Oh, wow. So, we were like, so very adventurous family. And yeah. yeah just that was like, we were traveling. like, okay, horseback riding. And she looked at us with her big eyes. She's like, in Ireland. Oh, wow. <laughs> and so, <laughs> talk about dreaming big, right? <laughs> we did, <laughs> you know. Um, and, and that was just, you know, did that was our it? way of life. Did she did. Ah. We did go to wow. Ireland and she got uh, oh, to wow. go horseback riding. So, um, you know, it was, it was uh, we were living the American dream. I mean, you know, successful business, you know, we were involved in our church, you know, when we were in town, mm -hmm. uh, you know, but we just kind of kept feeling, you know, uh, a higher calling. I mean, we wanted to make a difference in people's lives. And we felt we were in our own way. You know, yeah. we were in the, the recreational business. You know, people <clears throat> were, were tired and, you know, we offered a, an escape and adventure for them. But, you know, we just really, I, I felt a, a calling. We were actually in, in Africa, in Kenya, we were doing a mission trip. And uh, we were trying to make this happen on our own. And, and we were negotiating um, with a realtor to open a, a a business in Navarre, um, a wow. retreat center for um, for churches and such. Well, you know, we got back and um, we we sold our business. Um, uh, Hurricane, uh, actually before that, Hurricane Katrina hit, oh, yeah. and uh, you know nobody was in the mood to go scuba diving. And we were in Biloxi, yes. which you know had that major devastation. So uh, we had time on our hands. We started volunteering at the church, and we ran their their distribution center. Uh, and it just this spark just ignited inside of me. And I mean, I was raised in the church, so yeah. you know, uh, but. Just uh, this, I saw the need in the community, and I just uh, wanted to do something. I, I felt compelled to do something to help. And, How old and, were your kids at that time? Yeah. Uh, my daughter was just going into kindergarten. Okay, so you had children yeah. in the children's ministry then. Yeah, yeah. And you were uh, really involved at the church. Right, right. And so, you know, it took several years, but, you know, eventually we went into full-time ministry. Mm -hmm. And uh, we just grew so much. And uh, But then... 2013, uh, just a series of, of incidents brought a major devastation. We had a, a, a incident of, of catastrophic events in, in, in our uh, family. Our lives were never the same after that. It was just shaken. It, we were shaken. What there happened? was trauma. Uh, it was, you know, uh, more to do with our marriage. There was a kind of a conglomeration of things at that time. I had some health issues. I had have surgery. We had decided to take another job in Georgia, so we were relocating. So it was and just, it felt like everything was going so wonderful, and we were finally settled, and, and what you felt God's call, and it just seemed like attack after attack. The perfect storm. Mm, wow. And it, it just devastated us as a family. Uh, I started kind of spiraling and, and uh, you know, days turned into weeks, weeks turned into years, you know, and I just, I'd have days where we can do this, we're going to fix this, you know, we, mm -hmm. yeah, I felt really, you know, uh, uh, that strength and fire yes. within. And then, you know, when you start sinking into depression, uh, it's like the life just gets sucked from wow. you. You have such a limited amount of energy and it would just, it would just yeah. get zapped out of me, you know. And so I had moments where, you know, I just felt hopeless and oh, frustrated yes. and nothing I could do, you know, would, would change the situation. I saw my children hurting and that broke my heart. And uh, I, I just, I tapped out. I, I just was like, I, I don't know what else to do. You know, yes. I, I can't, I can't take this anymore. You know, and again, this was many years later, uh, and I came to a decision the 
I made the choice that, that taking my life was the only answer. Really? I, I was so low, you know, but again, it really wasn't about so much what was going on. Uh, but when you get depressed, you're uh, saying just distorts your thoughts, and distorts Satan your distorts mind, it. you know, mm -hmm. and, and I just, I had a hard time focusing, thinking clearly. And, uh, I just, I, I had started, uh, entertaining things that I shouldn't have been entertaining in my mind. Yeah, I'm a Christian. You know, I know you better. Were you know, in the I was church raised in the and, church. Yes. I was a pastor, you know. Uh, but I just didn't have the energy, you know, to think otherwise. The Satan told me I didn't have the energy right, to think right. otherwise. That's what it was. And I bought it. And so here I was, you know, I was at my kitchen table. I had come up with a plan. I knew when I was going to do it, how I was going to do it, where I was going to do it, and knew, you know, when people were going to be out of the house and, and all that kind of stuff. And so here I was. So I, I could hear myself breathing. I could hear my heart beating. And I was thinking, I, I wonder how much longer it, it'll thump, you know, and just that. And in desperation, I just kind of, God, you know, I didn't really want to kill myself. Of course not. I didn't. I, not. I, I just couldn't take the pain anymore. Mm -hmm. And I didn't know how to make it stop. Emotional pain, you were Emotional talking about. Emotional pain. I was just torn up inside, mm -hmm. you know. And uh, so it's so weird, you know. The devil is so stupid. <laughs> Sometimes, yes. you know, yes, he's he like, he's talking to me at that moment and, you know, contradicting things. And I started thinking in my mind, I was like, you know, okay, uh, how, how stupid is this? Okay, so I, I failed at everything in my life, I felt. You know, again, that's what the, the Satan was, was telling me. I failed at everything in my mm, life. Lies, up just this lie point. after lie yeah. after lie. What makes you think you're going to be successful at this? Oh. Meaning suicide. <laughs> you know? Wow. That's really stupid, you know? And, and it, like, at the moment, I was like, yeah, okay. And then I started thinking. And, and you know, I just... I called out to God. I think God knew in my heart that I did not want to end my life. I knew I had purpose in my life. Mm -hmm. You knew. But, you know, he started breathing clarity into my mind. And I was, he exposed those lies from the enemy. And I started thinking, well, yeah, you know, what if I try to kill myself and, and you know, cause brain damage or, you know, I don't know, become disabled. Mm -hmm. I'm like, well, then my life will be even worse. But even then, in your in your inner being, God yeah. was already rooted in you. And when those things came bombarding your mind, the Spirit of God lived in you, and it just flowed out, even from those depths, that those dark, dark places, that bright light of God was shining yes. and totally just brought Brought clarity, strength. clarity brought strength. and strength into my 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 being. So, what was the turning know? point that it all shifted? And it was kind today. of a <laughs> click in my head. I know, you know, and uh, I I received strength there that uh, I was able to reach out for help. Yeah, and uh, so I did, and you know, so I wanted like share. Things that God, uh, strategies and, and things that God shared with me along this, this journey of years yeah. into this healing where Amen. I am today. You know, yes. that's what Thank I really Jesus began to I reached out to ask someone for help. And yes. that's so important. Yes. People that are experiencing depression, many times they continue to go inward and thinking about themselves. And, and it's every, all the dialogue in their head is what I've heard is yeah. that it's about themselves. Right. In fact, I even heard on the news just recently that was a former Miss America yes. that had actually jumped to her death, I think from a, a condominium, was in it New York, 29 yes, stories up or something like that, just jumped over, seemingly had everything. A beautiful woman. Beautiful woman. Yes. It's yeah. so disappointing and it's so unnecessary. All that it's so important that you 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 come to a point where you reach out for help. Amen. All of us need help with one thing or another, you know. Exactly. Lots of but it's so important that you came to that moment in your life where Amen. you reached out for help and somebody was there yes. to help you, to guide you along yes. the way. Yes, right. and that's what what I really I want to focus on the yeah. triumph because you know I, I did I had I had beautiful children I didn't want to give them trauma I love my family you know I, it didn't it didn't make logical sense and that's the lie that that when you start like 
n not being able to reason properly, you know, those are not your thoughts. No, not they're, at all. They're not your thoughts. I, I'm much more intelligent than that, you know? <laughs> yes. <laughs> so anyway, um, so there are four things that really impacted my life at that time okay. that helped me really pull through. And, yes. and then there's a whole bunch of things, but these are the main things. Yeah. And two probably are not very surprising. You know, if you're a Christian, you know, okay, so uh, God's Word. Yeah. Oh, yes. God's Word. That was my anchor. That's that's what, what my, my compass that kept me on track. Again, during depression, it's so easy to get overwhelmed. Oh. And, and I couldn't even think straight. It was hard to read, you know, just a sentence. I kept reading it over and over, and I, it wouldn't make sense, you know. So I said, okay, keep it simple. I, I took scriptures. I mean, again, I grew up in, in the word, uh, Psalms 23, very familiar. You know, the Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. He makes me lie down in green pastures. He leads me beside the still waters. You know, all those kind of things. You know, and when I was at Walmart trying to buy groceries and I'm wondering how I'm going to pay for these groceries, the Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. The yes. Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. And on repeat to drown out those other over, thoughts over and over. over. When you've got, when your mind is full of the word, there's no room for those thoughts. So that, that was my goal, you know, just constantly uh, saturate my mind with God's word. Even when I wasn't home, I would play worship music or, you know, just to, to create an environment in my home yes. of, of the power of God's word. <clears throat> that's right. Um, the second thing is prayer. Again, that's, that's pretty obvious, but again, from uh, the perspective of someone who is depressed, uh, it, it was hard to stay focused. It was hard not to just drown my sorrow, you know, just really, you know, get bogged down with the needs and, and the wants. So, you know, keep it simple. If, if all you can do is pray the Lord's Prayer, Pray it. Just, just pray it. Lord. Just mm -hmm. create, keep in that dialogue with God during the whole time. So uh, for me, I, I reverted back to the days when I was uh, in children's ministry, and uh, we taught our kids uh, ACTS, which is A C T S. It's an acronym. So A is for adoration. You know, uh, you praise God. Yes, you're you're awesome, God. There's there's <laughs> none beside you. You know, I, I can do all things through Christ who gives me strength. You know, all that. So you just just praise and worship God. C is for confession. Now, this is not a time to judge yourself and criticize yourself. It's a time to open your heart and uh, allow God to, to work within you, you know, to call out those things that, you know, are not functioning in your life. Yeah. So, you know, God, uh, you know, forgive me. I made you too small. I, you know, forgive me. I was at the mall the other day and I saw this beautiful family that were, they were having ice cream and, and just a good time. I was jealous. You know, God, help me. Being you know, honest. How to deal with yes. that? You know, and uh, tease Thanksgiving. And this is just, and I, ha I journaled the whole time. And, you know, I'm writing, you know, thank you, God, for, for little things. Thank you, God, for, you know, um, for the sunshine. Thank you for the, the kid that, that held the door open for me. You know, little things, you know. Mm -hmm. uh, then by the time I got to uh, S is for um, uh, so, so, uh, that's a part where you, suffocation. Yes, suffocation. Wait, Yeah, the part where you ask God for what you need. By the time I got to S, I was so built up. You know, I knew I had a God that, that could do amazing things. He had done things in my life. I recognized those things, yeah. you know, things that had overcome. And, and so that really encouraged me, you yeah. know. Uh, another thing was community. That was huge, yeah. you know. Um, <clears throat> I reached out to a friend of mine who... Um, what, she's she's a therapist, and I know it's controversial in some circles to, you know, God should be the only one you need, you know, but, you know, I also feel that, you know, God created us to to, to have community, you know, right, two right. is better than Fellowship. one. If one falls, the other there is to well, pick Well, Sonia, if and, someone would be having a problem in their body, maybe they'll diagnose with cancer, something in an organ, it wouldn't be a problem to go to a doctor that's specialized that's so in that. That's true, yes, Well, there have people God has raised up that have an anointing that yes. understand the mind yes. and the way it physically operates, and so Sometimes it's a chemical imbalance with people. Right? Mm -hmm. Sometimes it's just a demonic attack right. on people and because he wants to squish out their future. God knew the great future that he had for your life. Yes. Yes. Look how many people you're impacting every single day when you work with us here at the ministry. And and now that, now that you've come out of that, your children are able to see God's light 
of light in your life. Yes. And you're able to help so many people, especially with our teenagers and our young people at our uh, ministry here. Yes. And we're just Thank so you. thankful for what God has done in your life. Thank you. And you know, I, I appreciate that journey that you've had. Yes, yes, you know? it's been wonderful. And the church has been a big part of that. That's mm -hmm. part of community for mm -hmm. me, you know, and whether it's online, I mean, we've got so many relationships with people online, yeah. you know, I know. I Samantha love Clifton, it. Yeah. people you <laughs> met, you know, Michael Harris, yeah. you know, Lupe, we love Lupe, yeah. you know, all these people that, that we We've met online They're like and family. prayed together. <laughs> yeah, yeah you know, it's That's really, right. we're connected. We need each other. And I love being in church. And worship was fantastic this past weekend. I yeah, just and encourages Chrissy's on the me. worship team. Most oh, Sundays yes, she's in there. Yes. I love it. You get fired up. And I just am so thankful that you've joined us to Thank share you. your journey and share your story because there's so many out there right now that are facing those same challenges, you know, relationship issues. Like you said, the perfect storm, it may have hit you. And, and they might tune in and see the title glorious living and say, mm -hmm. that is so not my life. But you are living proof that glorious living is in Jesus. It's yes. in the truth of knowing your identity in Him Amen. and facing those things right. and, and hitting it head on. And I just, I'm so thankful. And I know your life is being changed right now from hearing That's this. Right. Yes. It's great. Yes. You know, Thank let's you. take a moment now, because I know there are people that are watching with us and joining us on the program that maybe they're been, they've been dealing with that, or maybe they know someone that is. Yes. Could you lead us in a prayer, Saudi? Yes. I know that's Lord. something personal to you Definitely. and I believe the Holy Spirit will anoint you to pray a prayer of deliverance for people, yes. wisdom for people, insight that the Holy Spirit yes. can just surround Jesus. them right now. Yes. Would you do yes. that for Definitely. us? Definitely. be my pleasure. Dear Lord, we just come to you today, Lord. We just thank you that you're an awesome and powerful you, God, Lord. that, that uh, you are the master of our triumph, Lord, and we can depend on you. Thank you, Lord. And I, I just, uh, I lift up these people that may be watching at this, this very moment, Lord, that uh, you know what they're going through. Thank you you know, whatever trauma, it could be death of a loved one, it could be, you know, whatever, you know, divorce, you know, uh, nothing is impossible for you, you, Lord. And, and you have a plan and a purpose Hallelujah. for each and every person watching right this very moment. Yes. And Amen. I just ask that you just give them a surge from within, yes. just empower them to reach out, connect them, give them the divine connections with other believers, you know, their families, just, just and then heal their heart. Give yes, them peace, Lord. Lord. Amen. Give them wisdom. And we silence the enemy right now in the name of Jesus, that he has no place here, uh, that this is, is God's territory. And, you, uh, and so we just uh, Thank you, Lord. believe that you are working right now. You're sending angels on assignment to to uh, love on these people and, and give them hope and encouragement for the future and glorious life that you have ahead for them. We just love you, God. We praise you and we thank, thank you, you for this opportunity to, yes, to yes, share and pray. In Jesus', name. In Jesus precious Jesus. name we pray. Amen. Amen. Oh, Amen. I love that. Thank that is you. so Thank you. awesome. Thank, Thank you so you. much for doing that, Sada. You know, I believe that God has touched your life today, that you're changed forever because of the, what you've heard today on the program. I believe that you're coming out of that depression if that's what's been attacking you. I believe that God is giving you wisdom and insight so that you can really live the glorious life that he's come to give you. Remember to join me at Glorious Conference. That's March the 25th and the 26th. That's Friday at 7 p.m. and Saturday at 9 a.m. Saudi and Chrissy and I, a bunch of a whole bunch of other girlfriends oh, of mine will be, be here. Party. We're going to have an awesome time. Yes. You know, I'm so thankful for all of our partners that help us to put this program in. Oh, yes, Thank you, partners, for being a part of what we're doing here. You're a great part of helping us to reach people and change lives one soul at a time. Thank you so much for being a part of what God is doing here in this place and all that God has ahead. You know, I believe that God has touched your life in a great and powerful way today. This has been Amen. so special. Thank you again, Saudi, for joining yes, us. Yeah. Thank, Thank you, know, you for wonderful. letting me share the story. <laughs> it's oh, such yeah. a blessing. Well, we want you to come back. I know you have a lot of other great things to share. So thank you for joining us for Glorious Living and join us next time for another time in the presence of God just so that we can show everyone how it is to live a glorious life. God bless you. The King's Daughter is all glorious within. Her clothing is of wrought gold.
Timothy Duplantis' Glorious, A Conference for Women, Friday, March 25th and Saturday, March 26th. Register online at JDM.org. This media is copyrighted by Jesse Duplantis Ministries for the private use of our audience. Any other use of this media or of any pictures or accounts without Jesse Duplantis Ministries' consent is strictly prohibited.